and we're just take, really taking it back to the beginners here. Yeah. So we're going to talk about all things vinyl, what you can put on certain um, surfaces, right. what you can't put on other surfaces. We do have a few examples for you guys today. Um, it's also one of those, it's kind of going to be more like a mini live. Now, we did at the very end of the year, we started talking about mini lives mm -hmm. and things like that. So this is where we just kind of chit chat. We don't have a set project that we're going to do today. We're just going to talk about vinyl do's and don'ts, what to use it on. Answer your questions. Answer all of your questions. You all, I know yeah. you all have plenty of questions. Yay. So let's hop on over here. Okay. And let's talk about all of the different vinyls that we have. So here are some of our favorites. We have a mixture, permanent vinyl, removable vinyl, HTV. I'm sure you all are wondering, especially if you're new, what is the difference? Oh my gosh, I'm so overwhelmed. Do you hear us saying acronyms and calling things and you're just like, what are they saying? Like, what are we even talking about? What are about? you even talking about? Okay, so um, if you are wanting to use HTV, that is heat transfer vinyl. That's what you do have to have a heat source to transfer it onto your blank. That can be um, a some type of shirt or like cotton material. That can be, we use HTV on wood. You can use HTV on like the metal pie pans. There are so many different things that you can use HTV on, but you do have to use heat to transfer that vinyl, okay? So when we say HTV, let me pull a sheet out. This is what we mean by HTV. We'll go overhead. So the HTV doesn't have a backing on it or like not a typical backing that you would see like a paper backing. This is what HTV is. So there is a shiny side and there is a matte side. So for our newbies, just so you guys understand, when you are cutting HTV, you have to cut with this shiny side down. And the reason that you have to do that is because this shiny side is kind of, it's like built-in transfer tape. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to have separate transfer tape for this. You will cut it shiny side down, make sure the mirror is turned on so that when you flip it back over the correct way, it reads correctly. Okay, is everybody getting that? Are we good with that? So HTV, you do have to cut with the mirror on and shiny side down, okay? Um, Crafty Karen asks, what is the best way to store your vinyl? That is a great question because there are so many different ways that you can store your vinyl. If you have 12 by 12 sheets like we have here, we have found that the best way to store the 12 by 12 sheets is to get the, I think they're Rubbermaid. Yeah, right? I think they're a Rubbermaid brand. So they're Rubbermaid brand like plastic drawers that you just pull out and they fit the 12 by 12 sheets in perfectly. It's like the most satisfying organization that we have in the craft room. <laughs> Truly, it is. It's my favorite. <laughs> now, if you wanted to get really technical, you could, um, you could get plenty of drawers and divide it out by colors. We have it by like groups of three. So I think we have one that's like red, orange, yellow, blue, green, purple, mm -hmm. brown and cream, black, white, gray, things right. like that. So you kind of keep them together. Um, but that is the best way that we have found to store for the 12 by 12 sheets. Now, these big rolls, we have a know, different area for those. We have Yes, we do have a different <laughs> area for these. Now, what we have are just like metal baskets that you can get hooks and like mount them on the wall and we have just sticking those in the metal baskets. It can kind of get messy sometimes. <sighs> a lot of times. It's not. It's not that bad. It's not my favorite, but it yeah. works. And the, the best thing about it is that we can see almost all of the colors because they're literally like on the wall. Yeah. Like you can just see them out. And I will say that I tend to go to the colors that are hanging on our wall. Right. Nine times out of ten rather than going over to the drawer and pulling it out. But that's just because it's right there in my face. Exactly. Like literally no other reason. Yeah. Um, 
but those are re two really good options. We also had a TikTok or did an Instagram where you can take the shower rings yes. that you can get from Dollar Tree and you can place them all, like zip tie them all together. Um, and then you can like stick them through and that's really, really cool. Yeah. I don't have, I don't know if we have one, I would tell you to go grab it, but I think I've taken it apart at this point. Yeah, yeah. But that's another way you can store vinyl. There's so many different ways that you can. If I have an option to choose HTV over permanent vinyl on an applicable surface, I'm gonna go HTV. Right. Nine times out of 10, I'm gonna go HTV. There are some instances where I can't get my heat source into like cracks and crevices, so I may mm -hmm. have to do permanent, but if I have an option, I'm going to go HTV over permanent. HTV is a thinner vinyl. To me, it seems to, I feel like it sticks to surfaces a lot easier, or not easier, but I feel like it stays a little better, like there's not going to be an edge that it gets caught on and ripped off. Right. Um, so if... It were that is just my personal opinion, and I think Alicia, you kind of you kind of have the same idea. Mm -hmm. If you if you have a chance, or yes. if you had an option, you would go HTV over permanent. Right, and I think that I think that that's something that people learn with experience because a lot of Cricut newbies only think that there's adhesive vinyl, and you can get into more of difference between permanent removable adhesive vinyls. Yes, but I think whenever people get Crickets, they think, okay, I need permanent vinyl, and that's all, and then you're like wait, what's HTV? But HTV really, it, it weeds better, it adheres mm -hmm. better, it stays longer. Um, and that's why I tend to gravitate to HTV over permanent vinyl. Yes. Um, but I think a beginner typically does not think that. They think they need to use the sticky vinyl and mm -hmm. you can kind of tell them how you feel about that too. So, so with that being said, let's talk about this project that we have right here. This is put on with permanent vinyl onto this little, um, I guess, container. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that I want to talk about real quick is somebody asked, does HTV expire? Or does permanent vinyl expire? And yes, y'all, look how easy. This, is suppo this was supposed to be the, um, the Oracle six. Is this supposed to be the 651? I think it was the 651, I'm pretty sure. So, in case you all didn't know, Oracal has a lot of different numbers. Um, I personally do think that it expires because once it sits for so long, it just doesn't become sticky anymore. Like, you can still feel it sticky, but it's just not, like, there's not even a residue left on the end. Right, and you can apply permanent vinyl to bamboo and wood like that, and it should stick. Yes, it, it should, should not stick. come up this easy. Yeah. Not this easy. So if you find that you've got some random color sitting around and you're like, oh, I'm going to use that today. And you've had it for a few years and you're like, oh, yes. it's not sticking. A lot of times it'll stay stuck to the transfer paper even. Mm -hmm. um, that's a good sign to know like, oh, the stickiness is like gone. And you were saying earlier, 631 lasts three years. 651 lasts five years. Okay. So let's talk about this. A lot of people um, like Oracle. I'll, let me take this off and then we'll go to number one and I'll talk about that. So a lot of people like Oracal permanent vinyl and so do we. We're not hating on, hating on Oracal permanent vinyl. I've not had any issues. The only issues I've had is that when it gets after so many years, which this vinyl could have easily been here for three plus years. Right. And that could be really the life of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Donna, what I was pulling off was permanent vinyl. It was supposed to be Oracle 651. However, if you all don't know the difference, Oracle has a lot of different numbers. So let's turn this over and I want to show you. So this has Oracle 631 and this is Oracle 651. In case you all didn't know, the 631 is technically their removable matte vinyl, okay? So when I say removable, this is still going to be semi-permanent. It's not going to be like, oh, it comes up at nothing. But because it is a matte vinyl, it's technically considered removable matte, okay? This is a glossy vinyl. So this is a 651. The 631, if you look on their website, they have a shelf life or a year. They tell you how many years it should last. 
and this, the 630 one, has about a three-year um, shelf life, I guess you could call it, mm -hmm. and then it starts to deteriorate. The 651 is their intermediate cowl, which is a two and a half inch thickness. Um, but anyway, the 651 um, has a six year shelf life or six year um, life when you put it on something. So that's gonna be the, diff the biggest difference between, and I think there's other numbers that Orcal has yeah. Honestly, that's just there. That's not. We just don't really use a lot of their brand anymore. Yeah. Um, we don't use it as we lean to Starcraft. We lean to Starcraft a lot. And also, yeah. Lauren will be talking about like different brands. So there's brands, and then there's types of vinyl. So in my brain, yes. I have to like put them in their own boxes. So there's like the Oracal is a brand. Yes. The number is the type of vinyl. Yes. And then there's like Starcraft is a brand, and they have different types of vinyl. Yes. So. Okay, so let's go overhead and let's talk about the differences because I don't want you to get confused with brands and types. So top, we have HTV on this side and we have permanent. And we call permanent, whether it's removable matter, or whatever, we call it all permanent vinyl, okay? Or adhesive vinyl. Or let, let's do that. Let's type permanent. Let's do adhesive. Adhesive vinyl. Okay. HTV adhesive. We just talked about Oracal. Oracal is going to be adhesive. So we've got Oracal 631 and Oracal 651 that we've talked about. Those are adhesive vinyls. So what you do is you cut them with the color facing up no mirror, and you do have to use transfer tape for these, and to get them to adhere, it's like a pressure sensitive, when you press it on there, the adhesion on the back adheres to your blank. It's like a sticker. Okay. Yes, um, and we were talking about life ex expectancy um, after they applied. They don't put a manufacturer date on the vinyl, but vinyl, in our opinion, after it sits, so the pink, I was talking to everybody earlier, the pink that we have on this had sit for probably about three to five years. Yeah. It was hard to weed. We couldn't get it to stick. So we finally did. But let's talk about, we'll do life expand expectancy, I guess you could say on the 631 is three years. And on the 651 is six. They say on there six plus, I think six is pushing it. Okay. So those are the two that we've talked about so far. Now I'll move my little doodad over here and we'll bring it back out when we need to. Okay, so we've talked about Oracal. Now somebody said something about Caesar Easy Weed. Um, Caesar Easy Weed is personally my favorite heat transfer vinyl. It's personally my favorite heat transfer vinyl too. And if I'm comparing it to any, like even adhesive vinyl, if I can use Caesar Easy Weed HTV, I'm going to try to pick that. Yes. It's my favorite vinyl, like, across the board. Okay, so let's pull this out. We're got, we we're going to put Caesar under HTV, okay? So it's, it's a heat transfer. Somebody also asked earlier, can you apply heat to the permanent? If you applied heat to permanent vinyl, it's just going to melt. It's just going to melt. That's just how it is. It's not made to... It's not, it's not always going to melt. You can apply HTV on top of permanent, right. but it has to be very low heat okay yeah or it will melt so lauren i have a question okay so caesar makes permanent vinyl too so should we put easy weed by caesar just to clarify let's put easy weed by the caesar okay so when y'all go shopping make sure that you're shopping and i think um in one of our lives in boot camp last week we got on the one for three website and explained like you're going to go to this section to buy permanent vinyl and you need to go to this section to buy heat transfer vinyl because it's really easy yes. to get them mixed up, especially when you're just starting. Yes. Um, yes. And I think that Oracal has a heat transfer vinyl, don't they? Probably. If is I had to guess, they did. Is it the 8? I'm going to look really quick. It's not the 851. I think the 851 is like a transparent. Uh, but anyway, I whatever, I know that before I started working here, I used a different brand, and I'm pretty sure it was Oracal that I used um, 
for the uh, heat transfer vinyl? No, no. What was it? I'm pretty sure Orcal made a heat transfer vinyl. I'm look. I think they have some on here. I'm trying to see what the. I'm trying to find or it. Or maybe they don't. Maybe the Orcal. Y'all, it's been years since I taught myself. So, um, I don't know. I'm just seeing six three one and six five one. Okay. Yeah, and then I used to use the stencil vinyl from Orcal. Yeah. And it's really good. There's maybe stencil I used great. the Cricut vinyl, and that that that's what it was. I use the Cricut heat transfer vinyl. Not a fan. <laughs> Not a fan. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. Normally, and I feel like I've been calling my mom out a lot here recently, but <laughs> I'm, I'm just, it's just like real life examples. Oh, no. So she got a Cricut. I'm not calling her out. She got a Cricut the other day and she was like, oh, well, I need this Cricut material. I need this Cricut material. I'm like, just because you have a Cricut doesn't mean you have to, to use Cricut material. Right. Okay. That's, that's the case with this. Please don't, um, do not just because you have a Cricut doesn't mean you have to get their brand of material because in our opinion, it just doesn't work as good. So HTV Caesar easy weed for your regular HTV. Now mm -hmm. with that being said, Caesar has all kinds of different types of heat transfer vinyl. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to get you guys confused today, um, but there are so many different kinds of heat transfer vinyls. Um, I want you to really get confident with just using regular heat transfer vinyl. So let's just, let's leave it at that for today. Um, somebody asked if we made this. Yes, this is a Dollar Tree um, pizza pan that Alicia made. She made it out of the... Um, the shelf liners? The shelf liner. Yeah, or the, and it's the peel and stick wallpaper from Dollar yes. Tree. Peel and stick wallpaper, jute, Dollar Tree ribbon, and is that H, that's HTV. No, it's permanent. It's permanent vinyl, actually. It. It's yeah. permanent. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's just a Dollar Tree project we put together. Uh, Tamara says, I love HTV Ront. Your thoughts. So, I'm just going to be real honest. We haven't tried out a bunch of HTV Ront just yet. We do have the HTV Ront heat press. I like it. And their principal vinyl is amazing. What's, which one is that? The print, it's HTV Ront printable vinyl. And oh, they have yes. And the orange envelope. Or there's yes. a white envelope and an orange envelope. They're really They're good. They're printable vinyl, which is the same as like printable sticker paper. Yeah. Um, love it. I have also used their um, clear HTV for sublimation which I really like. Mm -hmm. That way you can sublimate on cotton. Um, but as far as other vinyls, like their regular HTV, I have not used, um, I've not used HTV Ront. Mm -mm. I haven't either. Other than their clear vinyl and their printable sticker paper. I haven't even And we love it so far. I know. Well, we should order some of their vinyl. I didn't realize that they had like colored vinyls. that yes. heat transfer or permanent or both? They should have HTV like all different colors. Okay, okay, okay. Dawn says HTV Ront is great. She they use it all the time. Okay. Well, well maybe we'll order some then. Listen, things here at Maker's gonna learn. I don't if for those that have been around that have seen us, been with us, you all know that we are ever changing. We are ever merging into different things that we like. If mm -hmm. you all have suggestions, we take those suggestions, we try them out. A lot of times our minds will change. Um Speaking of changing minds, that we're going to go into our next vinyl. Okay. Since we've talked about minds changing. And we are going to talk about tech, tech wrap. wrap vinyls. I knew. I knew you were going to talk about tech wrap. Let's talk about tech wrap We've had vinyls. a tumultuous relationship with tech wrap vinyl. We did. Um, it was, it started out, so let's, before we start talking about it, tech wrap is an adhesive vinyl, okay? It's a brand of adhesive vinyl. So tech wrap is gonna go over here. On this side of our chart, tech wrap adhesive vinyl. So we also have another, a couple more questions um, before we start talking about tech wrap. Um, Oma says, sorry, but what is HTV Ront? I did not put that on this chart. So HTV Ront has HTV. It is a brand, HTV Ront. 
is a brand for HTV. Okay? Patty says take off the extra film. Yes, Patty, you do have to take off the extra film. Yeah, first and foremost, okay. everybody, if you buy tech wrap, take off the extra film. It'll ruin your project. Yep. So once again, HTV Rant is HTV tech wrap is adhesive. They do have HTV tech wrap though, I've used. You they do? Uh-huh. Yeah, I used it and it actually cut. I had issues. Where did you get it at? Do we have it here? We have some. And I used it. I don't, if y'all remember, I posted those um, boxes I made, those file boxes for Ruby uh -huh. and Hallie. And I did their names on the front. Yes. And I want to say they were HTV. Maybe they weren't. I don't think they were. Now I'm feeling like, why would I do HTV on plastic? I don't think they were. You're right. They were adhesive. Lauren, I swear I've gotten HTV from TechRap. I'm going to go outside and look. Go look. Because I think I got some. Go look. Okay. Francis also said HTV Rant's adhesive final is great as well. I have to add HTV Rant to the adhesive side. Yes, love-hate relationship with tech wrap. At first, when I first used it, it cut absolutely beautifully. I had no issues. Um, it went, it cut like butter. I don't know what the, like, what I did different. But the first couple times, it was great. However, it progressively started getting worse what and we were like I'm done we're not doing it I hate it it's terrible don't like it but I was like the colors are so pretty I don't want to go away because tech wrap colors are beautiful Am I crazy or are these neons from tech wrap because I feel like they came in that box and we got all of that pretty new vinyl because tech wrap has the most beautiful colors yeah, but I don't know if we have we any. Don't know, we don't know if we I have I think any. this is. Okay. I feel like maybe those fluorescents are from them because, you know, Tech Wrap has the most bomb colors. Yeah, Like, well, whoever's the, picking their colors has got it figured out. If these fluorescents are from them, I know they're beautiful. Yeah. Like, I, I know they weed nice I because could, I have done a couple projects with them. But anyway. Anyways. Back to, back to the adhesive vinyl with Tech Wrap, Okay. First things first, if you don't know, they have a film, which this one does not. I have taken the film off of this one, okay? But this one is a clear, like, pattern on it. It's not white, but most of the um, tech wraps have a film over top of them. I wonder if this pink one, this is a tech wrap. I bet and you Sometimes might. you think oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Are. If you don't know this... Tech Wrap has a film over top of it that you have to take off before you start cutting. I just know their customer service gets complaints about I that know, all the they've time. They've got to get complaints about that <laughs> so much. I get it. Like, I get the purpose of it. But I get it. It's to protect this because God. that is such a shiny surface. I know. Like, imagine that getting, like, scratched. Right. So, I get it. I get why you have a film over it. But Jan says she bought those same neon colors from 143. Okay, Jan, you're probably right, honestly. I'm just tripping We have here. so much. We do, and it's all, like, mixed together. Yeah. So there's no, we don't sort from by brand. We sort by material. Yeah. So. so we were doing a tech wrap review video for those that did not watch it. We did a tech wrap review video um, three or four months ago, and I was saying, I don't know about it. I was literally in the middle of saying I'm not really a fan of it and then I looked and there is an insert inside sandwiched in between all of the all of the vinyls there is an insert that will tell you what to cut your tech wrap on so what you have to do is you have to go into your settings in Cricut you have to add a new material just for tech wrap, new material just for tech wrap for it to cut super smooth. Otherwise, it just doesn't cut great. But once you get that in there, it's phenomenal. Literally, no problems at all. Weeds, great, cuts beautifully. It's insane. Finally found it? Yes. So this little thing, this thing right here is what was sandwiched, like in between the vinyls. So when I pulled it out, I didn't see it. And then I was just looking through them and it fell out. 
So we'll go overhead, and this is what it tells you. So it tells you if you are working with the um, 01 series, which is their just normal, uh, regular colors. Your color change, they have glow in the dark. This is going to be the reflective. They have the opal um, holographic mirror chrome pattern texture right here, um, metallic plaid. Those are all going to be cut on the same settings, okay? So what you have to do is you have to go in and you have to change. Now, I know for like you can set your blade um, and speed and pressure with the silhouette, um, but with the maker, you have to go in there and you have to set it at a pressure of 180 to 185, which if you all don't know, regular vinyl cuts at like a 120 something. So yeah. it's like a lot, the pressure is a lot more for the tech wrap vinyl. Right. Okay. And I'm going to, I'm going to drop the link to the video where Lauren goes into detail on tech wrap and how to change your cut settings because the tech wrap vinyl is such good quality and the colors are amazing. And I don't want you all to feel like you don't want to use it because you're scared by like changing your cut settings because oh, no. Lauren shows you how to do it in this video and it's super helpful. No, it's very, very easy to add in a new cut setting, set it to your favorites. Not hard at all. Um, so don't be, because this specific pattern vinyl is probably one of my favorites. We have it in gold. And for the fall, it looks like leaves. And it's just, I don't know. It's my favorite. It is my fave. My yes. Fave. I love it. Um, we have not talked about this big, but this guy. Okay. This is the next vinyl that we want to talk about. And I just brought in um, a big roll that we have. And this is StarCraft vinyl. So I would think StarCraft is going to be, now does StarCraft, check on 143. Does StarCraft have HTV? I don't think they do. I think they just Yes, have, they do. They do. They have the soft flex, foils, 3D puff, and then they have just heat transfer adhesive. Okay. So, um, yeah, but we don't purchase StarCraft heat transfer yeah. for anything. Like. So, I do, one thing I want to say, I have our chart keeping our brands and our types separate, but just because I have put something in, um, in here does not mean that it, th there, there's a possibility. So, for example, TechRap has both permanent and HTV. I put it under permanent because that's what we've used. Right. StarCraft has both HTV and permanent. I'm probably going to put it under permanent just because that's what we use the most of. Right. Um, but StarCraft is great. Um, Jackie says, which HTV brand is best for pot holders slash tea towels? Caesar. <sighs> Caesar, easy weed. Caesar, yes, but it would, I'm putting StarCraft down here. Um, my only thing, if you're putting HTV on a pot holder that you're going to use, just know that that HTV is probably going to come off. Right. Pot holder, HTV on a pot holder needs to be a decorative pot holder only. Yes. Because it has the heat. So because it is heat activated, just the same as if you're wanting to take HTV off, you heat activate the back of it and you can take it off mm -hmm. so just keep that in mind yeah okay um laura asked do you already did you already do a video comparison between htv brands did if we? we have a comparison between htv brands it would probably be pretty one pretty far back in the archives that might be something that we can add to our list to do a comparison of the different brands uh, side by side um we were just really wanting to talk to you about our favorites in today's video um, and talk about the comparisons that we have. Um, but the only other ones that we have used is the, I've used the Cricut Sports Flex before. Yes. Um, and the Soft Flex. This, is it, that's the Caesar, StarCraft Soft Flex or Caesar? The Caesar Softflex I have used. The StarCraft Softflex I have not used. Yeah. The Softflex, of course, with the Softflex, you have to have, it has to be on like a polyester material. It um, tends to, it doesn't stick as well to cotton. Um, actually, it doesn't 
it's not supposed to stick it really at all to cotton. So the soft flex is made for like stretchy polyester type material. Uh -huh. um, just keep that in mind. There was somebody else that had a question. Can oh can I use HTV for tumblers? We do have a video at applying HTV to stainless steel tumblers, but we're also going to be doing an updated video. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, we are. We are going to be doing an updated video applying HTV to stainless steel tumbler, tumblers. <laughs> tumblers. Um, I use HTV on glass wine bottles, and it was awesome. Yes, you can use HTV on glass. We also had somebody ask if they could use HTV on ceramic tiles. That was at the top of the show. And you can use HTV on ceramic tiles. However, what you have to think about with ceramic is the bottom or the ceramic doesn't get hot as fast as um, the heat source that you're taking it or that you're putting on top of it. So you kind of, it's a game that you have to play to heat it up enough to where it will stick. My advice is if you're doing HTV on ceramic, heat up your ceramic first. Then with like heat resistant gloves, lay your HTV down and then do HTV on top of it. That yes. way it will adhere better and come up, okay? Yeah. Because that's the same with sublimating on, um, if you can sublimate on, which we're not going to go into sublimation, but you can sublimate on ceramic tiles, but you have to heat the tile up kind of from the inside out yes. for it to really take that color. Like really heat it. Like yes. really hot. <laughs> yes. Um, can you explain the difference from Caesar Easy Weed and Easy Weed Stretch? So, Michelle, great question. Caesar Easy Weed is your basic Caesar heat transfer vinyl. Um, it's going to have a little bit of stretch in it, but it's not going to have a ton. So, the Easy Weed Stretch, it's the same Caesar Easy Weed. It just has more added stretch to it. So, if you are putting it on a stretchy shirt or a stretchy fabric, it's going to stretch a lot better and look better and not give you ripples in the shirt mm -hmm. when it does stretch. Yeah. Okay. Can you sublimate on flannel fabric? We're not talking about sublimation today, but unless you have some type of poly polyester, polymer or like a H to clear HTV mm -hmm. on it, you cannot because flannel is a cotton material. Zindi vinyl, Alicia, that is a Zindi. new one. Let's add oh. it to the list of things Zindi. to look for. So frog vinyl and Zindi frog vinyl. Frog vinyl and Zindi vinyl. Okay, I'm here for I'm, it. I'm writing it on the back of Tanner's little thing. Yeah, I hope he's frog okay with <laughs> Zindi. We'll make him a new one. Yeah, we'll get some, we'll get some, uh, try out some new vinyls. Is Zindi vinyl in another, is that American? I don't know. Like, is it Alicia, made in this? Is that, uh, is that a U.S. brand? Is that a brand we need to test out here? Um, Melissa also asked, can you please explain which is best for tumblers? Mm, that is really going to depend on what, what you're you, doing. What you're doing. Yeah, I agree. Who you're doing it for. Are you doing it for yourself? Are you doing it for someone else? Are you putting epoxy over it? Or not? Are you selling it? So yeah. this is, we'll show you this one. Oh, wait, hold on. I think her little mouth is messed up a little bit. Well, she's been in that box over there, so. So this is just a, um, this is regular vinyl, but it is a very intricate cut. That's, now that's StarCraft white, StarCraft vinyl. Yeah, this is white StarCraft vinyl. Um, once again, it's staying very well. You all can see it's staying very well. Um, I it, wouldn't trust any other permanent vinyl to cut anything like that, ever. No. I would not use any other vinyl besides StarCraft. Okay, which is better for canvases? Um, mm, probably HTV. Permanent or HTV? Probably HTV. I haven't done a lot of that. I would think. But I would think HTV, just because canvas is like technically like a fabric. And yes. I feel like with textiles, HTV is going to be your best bet. Yeah. Usually. Unless it's a coated canvas. I know. It's like. That's the problem. Yeah. Is it a coated canvas? Like, does canvas it have paint or is on it, it a already? Canvas <laughs> or is it so, Starcraft, Permanent, mm -hmm. Caesar, H, Caesar Easy Weed HTV? We've got talked about Orcal. Um, I mean, we have Glitter HTV. Yeah. I'm trying to. Y'all just know it's harder to cut when you just know that glitter. Right. It's harder to cut. Yep. Tech wrap, Oracle. Um, Dollar Tree. 
Dollar we should have just addressed it while we're talking about We vinyls. don't have any Dollar Tree vinyl. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> so Tanner did a um, Tanner did a video with Dollar Tree vinyl. We don't hate Dollar Tree vinyl. Let me just say that it really Dollar Tree vinyl um, shocked him. I think when he did the video. Yeah. It was better quality than he expected. However, it's a really thin material. Um, but it's one of those that I would not do it on a project unless I knew I was going to be like tossing that project, like it was going to be a quick project. Yes. So Dollar Tree vinyl would be great if you are into, and I feel like I'm still, my mind is in like the Christmas season. If you wanted to like cut out people's names for their presents or for tags or yes. things like that great for that because it's not going to be very long lasting and it's you're not putting a lot of money into it either like right. it's very cheap very yes. cheap um someone asked about intricate and delicate cuts yes um i mean if it's a project that i can put htv on and i need to do an intricate cut i'm going to choose caesar easy weed but if it's something that i need to put permanent vinyl on i'm going to use starcraft personally um which caesar htv has a soft touch like the thermoflex Plus, that can be put on cotton. The soft flex is soft like yeah, that. Yeah, but I think she's talking about like a, kind of like our soft laminate feels. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? Like the soft lamb on this. Yes. You I feel like that, that is what, so I feel like soft flex feels like that. Yeah. I feel like that would be what feels like that. So I, I, I would assume that soft flex, Caesar soft flex. Yeah is what's going to have the closest. I've never used Thermoflex Plus. Me neither. I haven't either. So I couldn't really give you the... Right. I don't know how to say it. Like the best advice. I mean, yeah. I'm trying my best to. Someone um, said Papercraft from Hobby Lobby. Don't even. Just, I don't even want to talk about it. I would rather use Dollar Tree Vinyl. Unless you are in a pinch. Unless I'm in a pinch. Mm -mm. We're not judging at you if you use it. No, I'm just saying, no, like, no, no, if you're if no. you've been using that actively and you're a Cricut user and you really want to like level up your crafting game, just place an order with one four three vinyl or wherever you can go to Michaels. They sell Caesar at Michaels, mm -hmm. Easy Weed. I don't mm -hmm. know if they sell Starcraft though. I'm not sure if they sell Starcraft mm -hmm. anywhere else. Starcraft really. is a one four three vinyl. It's brand. exclusive, right? Okay, yes. okay. So somebody did ask us why. We choose StarCraft. Why we like StarCraft. Um, okay. Pretty much because it gives us the best results time and time and time and time again. Right. But we're not saying that other brands don't either. Um, it's just, it's kind of one of those things, it's a balancing act. We don't like, we, or it's not that we don't like Oracle. We do. <laughs> but StarCraft is from a semi-local company that is a pretty much a smaller business. So it's like two birds with one stone. We love it and we're supporting small businesses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, can you direct me on where I can find how to make a decal? I want to make it in color. Are you talking like a layered, um, a layered permanent vinyl project? Because we have quite a few um, videos yeah, for we've layered, got some. layered vinyl. Like you can do layered color, or if you want to make a decal that has a full range of color, you can use printable vinyl. Yes. And you have all you have to have is an inkjet printer. So there's a little couple different things you can go with that. Um, Tina says, "OMG, y'all are mentioning so many vinyls I've never heard of." Michelle asked about HTV on acrylic. You can. You, you can. can, Michelle. You can do it. I would, it, now, if you're using a thin vinyl, like the bookmarks that we made for the New Year's Eve event, if you didn't watch that, go watch it. It's very yeah. cute. Um, thin acrylic is going to warp. Um, I'm going to come use, over here and sit with you. If you use a thick acrylic and you put HGV on it, you're fine. I mean, you don't want to, like, sit there and heat it up forever. Um, and also, I'd recommend using, like, a like an easy press, not, like, an actual heat press to do it. Um, but you should be fine. You just got to be careful. We will. Um, there was something. What is the best sticker paper slash sticker vinyl? That is a great question. We have two that we've really enjoyed. Yes. Um, Zakoto, which mm -hmm. you can find it on Amazon. Z-I-C-O-T-O. -O. Mm -hmm. I had to 
I had to look at that word in my head. I was telling Lauren, <laughs> you can't spell words without visualizing them in your brain first. I don't know where I learned that fact, but we were trying to spell prerogative this morning and I spelled it wrong and I was like offended at myself because I, yeah. I pride myself on my spelling. Yes. <laughs> And then um, somebody, there was another one that, oh, Zakoto was one of the brands. And then we also like the HTV Raunt yes. sticker vinyl slash sticker paper. Yes. Those are our two favorites. And I just made a recent updated label video doing Cricut labels. And I used both of those sticker papers. And I put um, Starcraft matte laminate on top of them to make them exceptionally waterproof. They are like waterproof. Ooh. So, be looking out for that video. Yeah. Love it. Okay. Do you have a video about